impression of this? Because in the break, you told us it's pretty interesting. I think maybe it was the phrase you used. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about how beautiful the weather is, so that's at least a plus, but um, definitely interesting. You know, not at all what we felt like we were going to see from the test that we saw here um, with the Cup Series test and with the Xfinity Series test, so that's good and bad. You know, I kind of had an idea of what to, we were going to be up against, and that's not at all what, uh, what I think we're going to have. So, you know, watching the Truck Series practice and the Truck Series race, and then obviously our Xfinity Series practice, it was definitely a lot more aggressive, a lot more side-by-side -side than I anticipated that early. I think the rain on Friday and the lack of qualifying probably helped that, took a little bit of the, the nerves out and let us just focus on what we needed to do for the race. But um, it's going to be a wild race today. You know, I, I hope we have a few less cautions than what the, the truck guys had. But, um, you know, I, I hope all of our guys watched the Truck Series race and saw what was going on because I think it, it has the potential to be a lot of fun. So, Justin, obviously you just mentioned you did the test in the Xfinity Series car and the Cup car. And I thought it was interesting because you talked about that you thought all three series would have a different race. We saw the trucks running single file around the top, but in a big group. What do you think is going to be different about the Xfinity Series cars than what we just saw? Well, it looks like the Xfinity Series cars can run a little uh, more side by side or a little easier side by side than what the trucks could. Uh, there is a difference in speed between the two, uh, quite a bit of difference in speed between the trucks and the Xfinity Series cars. I would say the truck is more in line with the Cup Series cars speed-wise, whereas we're a little bit slower. And, and, you know, sometimes slower is not a bad thing because it allows us to kind of race a little bit more side by side. I think as the tires get hot, we're definitely seeing some handling characteristics that are going to be interesting. But for the most part, I think we should hopefully Hopefully, be able to be more side by side. Although um, <laughs> that could incite the big one. We almost had the big one in practice a couple of times, and uh, I'm afraid in the race, if if somebody's not able to catch it just right, we we could have some problems. Oh, we love side by side, but we can do without the big one, Justin. Agreed. Justin, your last trip to Victory Lane was Darlington last spring, but this run of races that you and your seven team are on right now, 16 consecutive top 10 finishes. I look at Junior Motorsports, the first four races. All four of those teams have good speed. This is your seventh year there. Across the board, is this maybe the best this organization has been? Oh, absolutely. You know, the time and effort that all the men and women at Junior Motorsports have put in this offseason, the Hendrick Engine Department, I mean, they've really been pushing themselves, pushing the cars to where, um, you know, we feel like we have a car to win every week, uh, any of the four of us, really. And we've raced each other a lot, you know, week in and week out. Uh, you know, last week I look, at our, I look at our day and it couldn't have gone any worse at the end. And we pitted three times in the last 30 laps and still finished 10th. So, you know, it, it definitely was a little bit wild and, not, and, and unconventional but I feel like our team has been great um, and, and it's hats off to everybody back at the shop. You know, they've been working their guts out. All the guys on this team have been doing a great job and it's no different here this weekend. We got a great Exalta, uh, Nally Automotive Camaro and, and we're looking forward to, uh, to trying to go to Victory Lane. We won it here a year ago. Obviously different configuration, but be nothing better than going back to back at Atlanta. Justin, we saw the, the shoe zone's a big deal every week, but we saw that really play out in the Truck Series race. Even teammates kind of getting frustrated with each other of, of maybe not working together as, as much as they could. What do you think about the choose zone? Is it, is it play a big factor at the end of this race, or do you think it's going to be just get as far forward as you can? Well, I caught a lot of grief, unfortunately, in Las Vegas because um, of where I ended up. You know, I was the fourth pick, um, had to take the inside row and the, the, the second row and, and ended up, you know, changing the outcome of the race and, and, and who ended up winning the race. So, you know, I think it's going to be important today to, to really be on your game. I think teammates are going to be important. You know, we got four really fast Camaros today. So, you know, we're going to we're going to have to try to do the best job we can. But when it comes down to the end of these races and you're all battling for a win, um, you're going to have to try to figure out the best way you know you can you can try to win. If you can helm a teammate, you're going to do that. No questions asked. Um, but if you feel like you got a shot at going for the win, you're going to have to try to figure out what that looks like. And that can be frustrating, especially when you've got um, four cars of our group that are going to that are going to be up front. No different than in the truck series. They had what three of them up front there and, and able to battle each other for the win so you know just managing that's gonna be tough and, and I think that that's what's going to be the determining factor for today's win for sure well Justin thanks so much for your time we're wishing you all the best of luck out there have fun thank you again for joining us okay so we